Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig and I am joined again by my wife, Brenna. Brenna, what are we looking at today? Today we are getting into the Johnny Ringo booties. Let's get into it. Old boots got soul and I carry on this way and we get better. Alright, so this is a quick impression of the Johnny Ringo booties. And Johnny Ringo is a company that's not making boots anymore. Uh, they are no longer in business. However, you can still find their boots like we did online or at thrift stores. And there's not much information online about Johnny Ringo, but I did talk to Jose over at yeehawcowboy.com because he used to sell these. So this was apparently Old Gringo's lower price level boots. And um, it looks like they are pretty well made and may have just failed because of lack of marketing. What do you yeah. think about them? I wouldn't consider these lower price. <laughs> when I think about a boot that has a Goodyear welt, which you can clearly see here, a nice soft leather lining, Stack leather heel. You definitely have pegs and nails in here. Yeah. With a the leather sole. Like, this is not cheap. Right. And that's <laughs> one thing that I like to see is the combination of the lemon wood pegs and brass nails. Just because lemon wood pegs expand the same way that leather does when wet. So it's a great way to keep everything together here when brass nails sometimes will come out of a boot when the leather gets wet and expands because that hole is not as small to hold the nail anymore. So yeah. that's a huge value of having those lemon wood pegs in there. That makes sense. I mean, I would say like, I'm kind of a zipper snob, but it is a cheap YKK zipper. It's nothing special. It's like a very, almost a closed, closed zipper. Like it's a small toothed zipper, which don't really hold up that much. So there's a possibility that after a few days or years of wearing these things, one of these teeth is gonna, you know, snap or go haywire. Like, I don't know why zippers just do that. The Ariat booties have a nice zipper. The JW boots have a nice zipper. Anything that's a little bit more rugged. Uh, this is not a rugged zipper, so you have to be careful with this. Let's talk a little bit about the leather that these are made out of, because it seems like a distressed leather. It looks so weird. Yeah, I kind of like that. It's very organic. I will say that the uh, like the thicker patches of the, we think this is maybe like an epoxy. Yeah, it seems like they dripped epoxy or something on this, because it's asymmetrical. I mean, if you look at both boots, each of them have different markings. So they might even just have had a, person in a part of the factory just like slopping it on in different <laughs> ways. <laughs> I mean, you could print an asymmetrical fabric. That's not completely True. out of the question. True, but I have seen these online in other pictures trying to do research about this and they all look different. Like, I don't think I saw the same configuration of how the epoxy is slopped on there. I think that's really cool, actually. That means you're getting something that's a little bit more unique. What do you think about the color? I like the color. I think the grayish tone, the dark gray, I guess we could call that, is uh, is nice. I think it'll go with a lot of different stuff. Kind of grungy. Yeah, kind of grungy anyway. I mean, I've never had a boot that is this long. I think my toe will probably stop somewhere around here-ish. I don't have any, what are these, a snip toe? You could classify this as a snip toe. Right. I don't have any snip toe boots. They intimidate me. <laughs> um, but I'm excited to see what they look like on. So we got these at Goodwill for like 30 bucks, um, but I think they originally were going for like 150, which yeah. for, this seems like pretty good quality for $150. Yeah, and they actually have a price tag on them of $99. Uh, you can see that there were sticker marks on the bottom where they had put like price tags or whatever but they're still brand new when it yeah, comes down to no it. No one has worn these. No, and these are gonna wear away really fast as you wear this boot. Yeah. You ready to try them on? Let's do it. So we've got the Johnny Ringo epoxy drip booties on. They are definitely comfortable. That leather uh, sole is nice. Thin, I wouldn't say it's like 
walking on clouds or anything. The zipper was no problem to get on. Definitely tight, no one's worn these before, which is something we love in a Goodwill find. The toe is definitely more toe than I've ever owned. Um, it's a look. I feel a little bit like an elf, but I think that I'm a stylish elf, so I accept it. Um, I think they're very light. They don't like weigh me down like some of the other booties that I have that are like a little bit of a thicker leather, thicker soles, things like that. They're pretty comfortable. The heel isn't too high. And I would say they're true to size. They're a six and a half B is what it says inside. That's my size. The leather feels maybe a little bit thin. Um, so I can tell that they are going to stretch. So I probably will continue to wear like thin socks with these. It's more of a look <laughs> that I'm used to, um, but I think that the snip toe looks good. Not the most comfortable thing I've put on my feet. I think the areas are a little bit more comfortable because they're just built uh, to have that nice cushy insole. These are definitely more of your traditionally made boot. Um, and at the cheaper price point, that definitely makes sense. I think the area it's 200 that we tried on, um, and these would retail at 150. So in that extra $50, you are getting like a nicer zipper, nicer insole, things like that. I've got jeans on. I think they definitely look a little bit better with jeans. I think that's a little bit more my style of how I would wear them. Makes them, uh, I have on my Lucky Brand jeans. You guys can see the review for those here. I think if I was gonna wear these, I kind of like that the jeans flare out a little bit, cover up some of that um, boot, give it more of like a streamlined look, which I think is cool. When I took them off to put the jeans on, the one of the zippers got stuck when I was trying to zip the boot back up on the like inner leather flap, and the like uh, the pull of the zipper was bending a little bit because it's super cheap and super thin. Um, I was able to like finagle the leather lining out of the zipper, but if you gotta get these things on and off in a hurry, <laughs> I wouldn't say that they're a good fit for you. Like if you're a fireman, probably not it. I will also say that they were tight because the zipper doesn't actually go all the way down to the like the heel of the boot or the base of the boot. There's like an inch, inch and a half where you actually still have to slide your foot in. It's almost like putting on a regular cowboy boot. Like why even bother with the zipper at that point? In my opinion, I think if they'd put the zipper all the way down, that would have been really nice or gotten rid of the zipper completely and made the, uh, the part over the arch of the foot a little bit bigger. I think that would have been really nice too. So either or, but they don't make any more, so we'll never see this. All right, Brenna, so it sounds like this is a nice boot, except for the zipper. Yeah, the zipper is really disappointing. It's, you can probably see it on camera bending when I'm trying to like zip it. That doesn't give me a lot of confidence. Um, and as you can see, it only comes down to here. So you've got a good, what would you say, two inches, two and a half inches there of space between the heel of the boot, the sole of the boot, and where the zipper actually comes up to. So when you are trying to get your foot in at this angle, the zipper is not really helping you. My foot had quite a bit of trouble making that turn. I'm sure once I wear them in a little bit more, it'll probably be a little bit easier, but it was tough. Um, and the zipper did get stuck on the, the leather flaps on the inside when I was zipping it up. Um, so it's it's not something you can put on in a hurry. I think you've got to be careful with the zipper because this thing is probably going to break on you at some point. Since they aren't being sold anymore on any main retailer website, you can still find these on eBay or Poshmark. I found several examples of people selling them. We got these for $30, which I feel is a good deal with them being new, minus the problems with the zipper. I mean... I think it's still worth it when they would retail at around 100 to 150 but what do you think that they would be worth if somebody out there was searching for them and thought they were cute and wanted to buy them on Poshmark or eBay? Like what is this boot worth? Yeah, I think honestly this boot is probably worth almost the full 150 I'd say you could pay up to 120 and still be really happy with this. I think about some other boots that are out there that are the same quality, the same build, like maybe the zipper might be a little bit better, 
but for an all leather boot in a unique styling with a nice snip toe with all the pegs and nails and stitching, the, uh, the full Goodyear welt, that automatically skyrockets the price, in my opinion, because you you can resell these things. You can have them for a long time. It's not like some Sam Edelman bullshit that you can just, you know, the glue's gonna come off the sole and then you have to get it re-glued and that'll happen, what, once before there's nothing left of it? Like, come on! <laughs> and those things cost 275 plus. So what is the Rip point? Off. Yeah, it is a ripoff. I don't think women understand, like, you can have good boots that don't cost as much as fancy shoes. Like, this is a great boot. Like, and it's a no-name. And it's a no-name. Like, you don't need... And it's unique. Who else is going to be walking around with boots that look like this? Absolutely no one. I like that. I think that's cool. Um, so I would say, honestly, go up to 120 if you see a pair of these things. If you see one for, like, 150 know that you'll probably be a little bit annoyed that the zipper isn't higher quality, but... Honestly, up to 120 feels like a good price point. If you find them on sale and they happen to be 75, you should absolutely buy them because I think that these are worth way more than $75. <laughs> Definitely worth more than 30. Ooh, Definitely so, worth more than 30. This, this was a good find. I'm glad we, we got these. Yeah, at 30 bucks, we could have these things resold three times and still be under what the original price point was. So <laughs> I'm happy. Let us know what you think of the Johnny Ringo booties down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching today and thank you Brenna for helping me out with this quick impression review because yeah. you make my job a lot easier when you just take over like that. Well you know what? Cheers. Cheers. See you later. Peace. Johnny Ringo, Johnny Ringo, where did you go Johnny Ringo? You might be out of the industry, but if you see these boots on the street, now you know about Johnny Ringo. Thank you so much for watching today. My name is Jeremiah Craig. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. The icon is right down below. You are the best. Great day. Peace.